Hail Satan. Hail King Lucifer. Hail beautiful Queen Lilith, the true queen of the queen of the true queen of the night and the mother of all demons and all demonesses. Hail King Asmodeus, my true patron, my true patron demon. Fuck off. I was a fucking wasp or a hornet, whatever you want to call it. Trying to fucking land on my bald skull. Nothing landing on that. Unless it's a nice female unless it's a nice female gender part. <laughs> Ah, they say, Dennis. Hail Satan, brothers and sisters. I hope everybody's having a good day. Or a good evening, or a good morning, wherever you are, if you watch this video. I would like for more people to watch them. I do my best to put out the content that I can put out. On the subjects, the subjects that matter to Father Satan's kids. And I'm going to say Father Satan's kids, Father Satan, Father Satan's children. Because every true Satanist, okay, every true sinister Satanist, I'm going to say, okay, every true sinister Satanist is Father Satan's child. If you're not a true sinister Satanist, you're not Father Satan's child. And I do not care who the person is. I really don't give a fuck. And that's the truth. If you're not sinister, and I mean very sinister, I don't mean just, uh, swear once or twice a day. I don't mean fucking, I just grabbed a cigarette. I don't mean the keyboard war, the keyboard Satanists. I don't mean the ones that pretend online that they're Satanists. And in real life, they're not. Okay? Them, they're the fakes. They're the phonies. They're the, like, wannabes. They're like uh, the ones that, uh, oh, I'll pretend I'm a Satanist. I'll just put a couple, I'll just put a few pentagrams on my profile. Uh, pictures of pentagrams on my profile. I'll just say, hail Satan, and I'll join a few groups. And mommy and daddy will know that I'm rebelling because I'm not getting a Lamborghini for my birthday or for passing. I'm not getting a hundred thousand dollar car or two hundred thousand dollar car, so I'll just pretend that I'm a Satanist online, and mommy and daddy sees that they'll think that I'm a Satanist, they'll think I'm all evil and all this, and they'll tell me, "Oh, a beautiful crow," and I missed it again, missed him again or her again, sorry, and they'll think that they'll give me a new car because they'll tell me if that if I quit being a Satanist, they'll buy me a brand new Lamborghini or a Porsche or something like that. That's the little assholes, okay? Every one of them. And I don't care who it is, male or female. That's the assholes that gives that make it bad for the true Satanists, okay? And for the true sinister Satanists. Is them little asshole wannabes, them little fucking the ones that pretend that they're Satanists. Okay, they're the ones that make it bad for all of us. They really are. They really do make it bad for all of us. They always have, and they always. And sad part about it is, is they always will, until Father Satan intervenes and say, "Okay, enough of this bullshit," and then he takes care of it. That's like people that mock Father Satan, because in reality, people that do that, in reality, in all honesty, people that do that, people that. Uh, People that pretend, okay, people that pretend, uh, people that pretend that they're Satanists, okay, the keyboard, that means the keyboard, I'm meaning the keyboard, keyboard Satanists, and all the, the fake Satanists, phonies, all them little fucking morons, they're the ones that are mocking, they're, they're mocking Father Satan, and the sap, the, the thing about it is, is they have no clue what they got coming to them down the pipe. Father Satan hates people mocking them. You don't mock Father Satan at all. You don't mock any demon or demoness at all. You just don't do it. And by doing that, you have no idea what you're stepping into. You have no clue what's going to come down the pipe towards you. 
But the thing about it is, okay, this is the good part. It looks good on them. It looks good on every one of you. Every fake Satanist, everyone's that pretend, everyone that's pretending they're Satanists, acting, think they're in a musical or some bullshit on Broadway, you have no idea how real, okay? You have no clue how real, how sinister, and how much that Father Satan and every demon and every demoness in existence is going to pay you back. Number one, number one, they're going to drive you off your head, okay? Because everywhere, you, every every sound you hear, every little thing you hear, you'll think is a demon, okay? Everything you hear, you'll think is a demon. Everything you'll be seeing demons. Everywhere you look, you'll be you'll you'll think that you're seeing demons. Everything you think, you'll think that it has to do with demonic. That being said, you have no idea what you're dealing with. And I'm not joking. I mean not a fucking clue. And all that is 100% going to come back to you. And you're going to end up running to the... You're going to end up running. You're going to end up go howling. You're going to end up running. You're going to end up going howling to the loony bin. Okay? To the psych ward. You're going to go to an ER... What's going to happen? I'll tell you what's going to happen to all you wannabes. All you fakes. All you phonies. All you keyboard Satanists. I'll tell you right now. Okay, because I I seen it I seen it a million times I'm not a million times but I'm after seeing 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 it a hundred times over, okay probably more. In my years as being a true Satanist, and believe you me, I am one hundred percent real. I am not a fake. I can back up everything I say. With one hundred percent proof, but I don't need to prove anything to anybody. Only Father Satan, and King Lucifer. And my patron demon, King Asmodeus, and beautiful Queen Lilith, and all every demon in existence and demoness. But getting back to what I was saying, getting back to what I was saying about the uh, about the uh, people, the ones that are fakes, phonies, and wannabes, and keyboard and keyboard Satanists. Getting back to them idiots. Okay, and that's just what you are, little idiots. Okay, getting back to that, you have no idea what the fuck you're dealing with when you're dealing with the supernatural and when you're, when, you're, when you're dealing with the demonic, okay? Number one, you think it's all a game. You don't even believe it. You don't even think it's real. But I can guarantee you this much. It's very fucking real. It's real, more real than you sitting down wherever you're sitting down to now, listening to this video. Or it's more real than you standing up watching this video or wherever the fuck you're watching it to, if you're watching it at all. So by rage, you should be taking this as a warning, but I'm not warning you because you're stupid. You're too stupid to do it. You're too stupid and you continue to do it. And the thing about it is, the more you do it, the worse it's going to be for you. Because, number one, you're going to end up running... Howling to you're gonna end up your nerves are gonna end up shot and you're gonna have to be you're gonna have to go on nerve pills or you're gonna end up on a drug addict on some drug because you can't sleep at night because you're seeing demons. Okay? And eventually you're gonna end up having to go to a doctor. And if you go to your family doctor and tell them, they're gonna send he's gonna send you right away to an ER department. And once you tell the emergency room doctor what's going on. He's going to get you to put you in a put you in a room by yourself, called the quiet room. Okay, I know all about them. Called the quiet room. Then he's going to uh, while you're in the quiet room, you're going to wait for uh, a psych counselor to come or a, a, a psych counselor or a psych nurse to come down and talk to you to get your story. Okay, and that's going to be sweet. You telling the psych counselor or psych nurse that everything you hear is a demon. Everything, you, everywhere you look, you see demons, and you can't sleep at night because demons are keeping you awake. Okay, and she's going to send that. She's going to give that. She'll write down everything, and when she writes it all down, she's going to give it to a doctor, psychiatrist, because it won't be a psychologist. It'll be a psychiatrist. It might be a psychologist, but I doubt it. And then, on top of all that. After you give that to the psychologist or, or psychiatrist, after his nurse, the nurse does, the doctor reads it all, 
the doctor comes down and checks you out. Okay? And you're still in the quiet room in the ER department all this time, right? Or just on the side of the ER department. And then the doctor ends up, you end up seeing the doctor, psychiatrist. So you tell the psychiatrist, because he'll, he'll come in, they'll ask you what's going on. He'll come in, they'll say, what brings you here today, or what's going on, what has, you know, what has been going on, what's going on in your life, you know, what stresses do you have going on, yada, 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 okay? And you'll tell him exactly what's going on, you're telling your, you'll tell the shrink, psychiatrist, that you're seeing demons, you'll tell him everywhere you look, daily, even if it's in the daytime or the nighttime, that you're seeing demons, you'll tell him you're, Everything you hear, you're hearing demons, and you're, when you sleep, demons are all around you, and everything else, and the first thing the, psychi first thing the psychiatrist is going to do is say you're schizophrenic, okay? He's going to say you're schizophrenic, he's going to, psychiatrist is going to say you have schizophrenia, okay? And then, he might say you got bipolar too, maybe, and he might say you're in mania, Right? Or in psychosis. There's that crow. I don't know. I don't know if I I don't know if I caught the crow or not. I'll catch I'll catch one of them one of these days. And anyway, then they're gonna say doctor's gonna say you got you're in psychosis or you're in mania. And he's gonna say that you got schizophrenia, your diagnosis. Okay? You got schizophrenia, you got bipolar. You'll probably say you got bipolar, maybe. But if they say you got bipolar and schizophrenia, then they'll tell you you got schizoaffective. Okay? And anybody that don't know what schizoaffective is, I'll tell you right now because I know. I know 100%. Schizoaffective is if one person has schizophrenia, okay, and bipolar disorder, whether it's bipolar 1 or bipolar 2. Okay, either way it's schizo either way it's schizophrenia. Either way it's schizoaffective, sorry. And then of course out comes the drugs. Out comes the prescription. The nurse comes with your medication that the doctor gives you. That's after but before that, the doctor will tell you, I think we need to keep you in for a few days for observation. And shit like stuff like that. So you go in, you go into the ward. You go into the psychiatric ward, okay? Nurse is with you. And then the nurse, you know, they do all their paperwork, yada, yada, yada. Pro probably do their blood work on you. Make sure that you're not, no, there's no drugs in your system, like street drugs. And then they ask you, this is before the psychiatrist asks you, the psychiatrist, you know, or, or psych nurse, before you get into the psych ward, they'll ask you, like, have you got any psychiatric history? Is do psycho mental illness run in your family? All that all that there. Okay? But when it gets to that, then while you're in the psych ward, out comes the drugs. Out comes the psych drugs. Out comes the antidepressants. Out comes the clonazepam, alprazolam, lorazepam, diazepam. Out comes the antipsychotics. Which would be, I know here in Ontario, Canada, it would probably, nine chances out of ten, the first antipsychotic they would give you, especially a male, would be, and even females, would be uh, Seroquel. Now the name for it, that's just to say, the, that's the brand, that's not the, that's the, like the, not the brand name, that's the secondary name for it, the generic name. The brand name is Quanapine or something like that. I can't pronounce it. Never could. But anyway, yeah. And when you take the, you know, it probably might start you off on say 300 milligrams a day. Okay. The first pill, the first one of them you're going to take. Okay. And I'm telling you right now because I know. I wouldn't be telling you if I didn't know. The first one you're going to take, you'll feel like you're walking underneath water. That's how the first one feels. If you've never ever taken a Seroquel before, and this is your time in the lo in the puzzle factory, in the Looney Van, Nut Ward, fucking Crackerjack Factory, whatever the fuck you want to call it, Psych Ward, 
Uh, and believe you me, I'm not making fun of mental illness. I'm, I'm really not. And that's the truth. I'm really not. But I never would make fun of mental illness. Uh, but with, that, with saying that, then you're on all this medication, okay, and you're all dumbed down. You're all zoned out. You're fucking flying. You know, everything's cool. Everything's good. You're all dumbed out. And you're still seeing, and you're still hearing demons and seeing demons, and th or you think you're still thinking that you're seeing demons, hearing demons. Uh, you know, everywhere, every person you look at in the psych ward is a demon. The nurses are demons. So obviously they got up your meds. Obviously they got to jack your meds up. So then you're like a zombie. And they'll probably in the states. I don't know about. In, I don't know about up here, but in, in Canada, in Ontario, they don't. Well, they might. If they do, I don't know anything about it. I never heard talk of it in, in Ontario. But I know in in the states, right? In the United States, the first thing I don't know about over in Europe, like in Sweden and place England, places like that, right? But I know in the states, the first thing they'll do, that nine chances out of ten, they'll probably put you on. Uh, They'll put you on antipsychotic meds automatically and probably antidepressant. Yeah, automatically antipsychotic, automatically antidepressant, and automatically lorazepam or clonazepam. Probably both it together. And on top of that, after you get all the drugs in your system, whether it's fluorazine or not flu, yeah, yeah, fluorazine, you'll probably end up do after a wall being on it. You'll end up doing the fluorazine shuffle. That's where you walk really slow because you're like shuffling your feet, dragging your feet because it's just the way it affects your brain, right? The way the fluorazine affects your brain. Uh, it's a bad side effect from it, actually. But anyway, there's a lot of people on Facebook, okay? Not just Facebook, YouTube, social media in general, all social media, okay? There's a lot of people on all social media that do not understand how serious that they think they're playing, okay? They think they're playing games by being, thinking, telling everybody and acting like they're, you know, acting all big and bad and pretending that they're possessed and pretending that they're possessed by demons and, and all this bullshit when all they're doing is pretending. They have no idea that all they're doing is mocking them, them demonic entities. And I can promise you right now all what I just said, that speech I just give about mental illness, I can promise you right now, them people that do that, and I'm not going to make any names because there's, I know three people 100% for sure. Okay? Two of them are guys. I can guarantee you right now, they're going to end up in a, psych, in a puzzle factory somewhere, or they're going to end up committing suicide, or they're going to end up, when they do die, they are going to, uh, when, they, when they go to hell, because that's where they're going, no doubt about, I can put my life on that, they're going to hell. And they're not getting no fucking thrown. I know that for a fact. They're not getting no fucking thrown. They're going to end up in fucking, they're going to stand before King Lucifer and, and Father Satan, and Father Satan's going to look at them and say, bye-bye. And then a few couple of, couple of Father Satan's demons will grab them and drag them away to a different part, a different level of hell, a different part of hell. No throne for them. But me personally, I got a throne coming to me, and I have many. I, well, I have brothers and sisters that I know one. I know one hundred six hundred and sixty-six percent that have a throne coming to them, and they deserve a throne. Believe you me. Well, with that, I'm going to let you go. Ave Satanus, Ave Lucifera, Ave Lord Belial, Ave Beautiful Queen Lilith, Ave King Asmodeus, Ave King Lucifer, Ave Lord Leviathan, Ave Lord Pazuzu, Ave King Asmode, Ave to every demon and every demoness that's in existence, and Ave to every demon and every demoness that's named and unnamed. And I'll talk to you next, brothers and sisters.